Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Dana August Nails. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, y'all, it's about damn time. I'm doing my own nails, so here's a product list. Uh, top coat, base coat, Gershon. You guys already know. Um, these two colors are actually a Gershon Clear and a Gershon color called 043. Um, matte top coat from Luminary as well as their Commit Primer. And these, these two decals. I got a story about that in a little bit. Uh, a cuticle pusher, a Gershon's gel brush, and uh, ch -ch 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 yeah, some nail prep from uh, Mia Secret. I don't even know why I included the nail prep, but like, didn't we show y'all the protein bond? Anyway, so I'm applying um, the nail dehydrator from Mia Secret. I don't know why, I swear by this. I do, I really swear by this. Um, oh, I know why I didn't show the protein bond, because duh, you didn't use a protein bond. That's why you show the luminary commit, yo. This stuff right here, cement, that's all I'm gonna say. Cement, okay? Get stuck to your grandma with that stuff. You just, you gonna get stuck to her, okay? Uh, so I apply two coats of that. And then I let it dry and then I apply a very thin coat of the Gershon base coat to all 10 of the nails. You know, I cured this for uh, 30 seconds in the lab and I, y'all, I did both my hands in one set and I'm tri straight tripping. So um, this is Gershon's um, tube builder gel. Yeah, I reviewed and demoed these ages ago, but they just been sitting in the drawer. I never used them and I already told y'all, I committed, I promised, I challenged myself to use things that I've not used before. So I put a little on there and then I floated it onto the nail to create the slip layer. After the slip layer, I got a big old gulp of it on there, a little dollop. And um, I put it in the center of the nail, right? Worked it to the center of the cuticle and then down to the free edge. And then I moved from one center of the cuticle to the side wall and then down to the free edge and then back to the other side of the cuticle and then down to the side wall. Man, this, this did not self-level, can I tell you? I had to do little tiny circular motions. There was bubbles. It was disrespectful as hell. Like, how, like, yo, where does this Gershon's builders y'all know me from? Because it's mad disrespectful. Like, I did something to you. Like, you knew me from high school and you holding a grudge. Like, the heck? Respect somebody. And it's like, it was sitting on my nails for quite a bit. I assumed it would have heated up and just, but it did not. Anyway, low heat mode, curing for a full 60, I did that on my middle finger and ring finger with a clear now this color is color number 43 man can we talk about this like moviness of it all i know people say mauve i just i can't mauve no shade to the people that say mauve i just can't do it so slip layer yes uncured remains uncured don't know if i mentioned that getting me a good okay let's call it what it is that looks like bird poop that looks like bird dookie or some sort of animal dookie that poops in spirals like that. I don't know what's going on, but that's how it came out with the little fancy little nozzle on the end there. So this I was able to work with a much, much better than the clear, but it also didn't self level as well as it should have. So I, you know, I moved it to the center of the cuticle um, and then I sort of floated it from one side of the nail to the other, you know, one side of the cuticle to the free edge, then other side of the cuticle to the free edge I did not hold my nail upside down because this was the viscosity on this wasn't one that would have benefited from me holding my nail upside down at all and I know this because I actually tried it because I'm thinking you know all gels bro all gels upside down the nail you cannot fail oh I'm gonna put that on a shirt but um that didn't work with this so anyway I figured it out you know we getting some form out here Look at me tripping, tripping. You see that nail? Does that look like that self-leveled? Heck no. Now for some reason on the pinky, it was a brand new gel. It was like a whole new transformation. This this became a new person, a better person after, you know, talking to someone about its feelings and getting some help. It All of a sudden this gel want to be functioning. But then we got to the thumb and it was like, oh, I forgot all the work that we put in. Sounds like me in therapy. Um. Anyway, so... <laughs> yeah it was a it was a lot got both nails done right so now it's like let's let's get let's get this you know inhibition layer off with some alcohol and a paper towel 
need I remind you, you guys? guys? I interrupt the regular scheduling of your program to let you know what I'm eating right now. Not as I'm doing the actual nails, but right now, today. I'm having me some loaded fries. What do they include? Regular fries, chili, mild cheddar cheese, bacon, barbecue sauce. And yes, I fully intend to eat this entire plate of fries because you know what? I don't invite people to help me eat my food. All right, back to the nails. She right, she don't invite nobody. I was gonna say, need I remind you that I actually have lint-free wipes to cleanse the nail and I just, I just don't. It's it's about what I have on hand. Anyway, take my Melody, Su Melody Susie nail drill at um, 10, a thousand rotations per minute or 10,000 rotations per minute um, with my Pana five and one coarse bit. I'm going around the cuticle, then I'm going down the sidewall and then I'm going down the full um, length of the nail and just sort of contouring the sides, but also just, um, you know, taking down any bulk. I was pretty good about doing this on the um, thinner side. Now here is how I file my non-dominant hand. Instead of moving the drill, like I would um, when I'm using it with my right hand, Using it with my left hand, I move the hand. I move the finger instead. I keep the drill anchored. You see it's like three fingers underneath it, keeping it anchored. And all I'm doing is moving my hand, moving that finger um, to be safe. I find that this is very effective because, um, yo, I don't wanna get cut. It's just, it boils down to that. So I move the finger instead of the drill. Little, little tip, I don't know. Um, so then I'm going in with my Glitter Balls metal filing board and I'm refining the shape. And when I get to this point, you guys, I always do this from the client's perspective because I don't wanna get to filing too much on each side wall or too much off of the free edge. And then by the time, looking from my perspective, and then by the time I flip it over, looking at the client's perspective, I filed off so much of the nail, it's hard to fix it. So I just do the finished filing and of the shape, you know, from, from their uh, point of view. And then I'm going in with a buffer and then I'm taking this old Kalinsky brush, repurposing it as an alcohol brush to get in those crevices and get rid of the dust for uh, you know the preparation of nail art. Now, Tabitha Scott Nails suggests that you put protein bond or some sort of primer on your nails to get the top coat from pulling away from the cuticle. Man, this did not work. It didn't. It was a whole situation and I don't recommend it. Anyway, on the ring finger of the the left hand, I am applying two coats of Model 1's Purple Rain. But for some reason, when I got to the left, the right hand, my non-dominant using, oh my gosh. Anyway, this is the left hand. I'm using my right hand to apply. But when I got to using my left hand to apply to my right hand, for some reason, two coats of Purple Rain wasn't cutting it. So I had to do three coats on the nail and I cured for 60 seconds in between. Now that I'm looking at it, I just, you know, I should have applied a sort of like a more camouflage color because this didn't end up being as opaque as I needed it to, but it was still pretty cute, yo. It was pretty cute. I liked it. I liked it. Um, so yes. So then I proceeded to top coat and I'm using the commit, uh, shiny top coat from uh, luminary for some reason there's like this dried on product around the top of the bottle so it just i don't know it was weird so i did that on the thumb the pinky and the index and so now i'm applying a very thin coat of base coat onto this middle finger because i'm going in with a decal here are the tools i'm using i'm going to be using this born pretty stamper this little diamond tray with some water my tweezers and um this this decal notice that i've only put one decal in well anyway i'm taking the decal off once it's separated from the paper in the water and putting it on the stamper notice that i'm having a bit of issue now why is there one decal instead of two when i showed you two and i have two hands and you say two middle fingers well because my son probably ate the other decal yeah i'm talking about the toddler and there's no hope in waiting for him to poop it out um, it has the a base. dispersion layer on it. Yeah. Yeah, I dab off the water a little bit and slap it on. And place, place it where you want it. All right, then. You guys, that was the sound of um, wisdom. Um, that was uh, Carrie from iNails. <laughs> really cool. Um, 
nail friend, nail sister of mine giving me the best advice I could possibly have when it comes to decals. Slap it on, Lise. Just put it on there. Done. Um, <laughs> so that was my first attempt using the stamper. I did not position this well, and so I peeled it off. I know, I'm tripping. That's unheard of, is it? I don't know. I just was doing whatever I felt like doing because I was like, I need this to position well. So I put it back on the stamper. Man, did we learn a lot. So now I'm positioning it, the positioning. Oh my gosh, you see what I'm doing, right? And it was better this time around. However, I did end up with a few bubbles. So I had to bust out the silicone tool. What I didn't do and should have done was cut the decal to sort of fit with the roundness of my cuticle section. Oh my gosh, did I mention this is my first time using decals, decals, however you want to say it. I hope you feel comfortable to say whatever you want to say in my in, in, in this video, in this safe space. But say what you won't say, decals, de decal, whatever. So I, I learned a lot. Um, what I ended up doing was after the silicone tool, I just trimmed the edges with some cuticle scissors. And then I proceeded to use my uh, file to just get rid of excess. Cuticles looking like a mess, but hey, hey. We made this work. I went in with a coat of base coat to sort of help with the slight bits of wrinkling that I found. I cured it for 30 seconds because had I cured it for 60, it would have made the whole deco cloudy. Do not over cure your base coat. And I'm over here tripping talking about rhinestones. Rhinestones, girl, you just learned how to put a decal on there. Don't be trying to put stuff on the decal. What's wrong with you? Obviously, I came to my senses. So now I'm going in with two coats of the... Um, the luminaries matte top coat and i carry this for a full 60 seconds so you guys th that's the end of the video thank you for watching don't forget to like share comment and subscribe follow me on social media product list is going to be below use the things that you guys have bought i know you guys have crazy nail art collections i challenge you to use things you've never used before love you guys for watching and i promise to see you in the next one bye